Hey guys, welcome back to the C and J show. I have my favorite Jen and Juice here, and I have my sister Neek. And today's topic, we're gonna be talking about paid service. Okay, paid services. We see everything is floating around. It kind of, you know, it was up there with Ti and them. Then it went back down, and now they got the FBI involved and all these people. We do not know the outcome. But what we're going to be talking about with paid services, this is more so with the females. I want to say this with, with, with them because I think and believe it's a lot of females that's walking around. Either you do not know or you're just using this thing for money or something and you don't know what you're getting. So I felt like what we should do is kind of give you guys a little bit more so we can know what we got to stop doing and be a little bit more aware of this paid services and knows how this goes so we we don't have to always call different things when things come up you understand what we're saying okay so neat going to you now i'm gonna explain this a little bit when i said that because i don't want to catch nobody out of guard okay if if T.I., a celebrity, any man with money, say, okay, they, they notify you, they want to give you some money to do something for them, any sexual act, okay? When you go there, you need to be thinking like this. All the possibilities of you can get raped, you can get drugged, you, you may not get the money. A lot of things could happen. Okay, you are not going there. They're not paying you as you're going. Like you're the wife, you're the baby mama, you're the girlfriend. There's no attachment. You're coming to do a job. Okay, mm -hmm. and when and if they gotta pay you for it, we know that it's not. You're not coming to clean up. Okay, not a housekeeper. Mm -hmm. You're coming to be to do a job. So. In that work field, in that kind of line of work, we know you. they want you to do something very filthy. Right. So either you're going to be aware of the, the most filthiest, nastiest things you can think about that you have to do. Because you're not going to just get $6,000, get <laughs> to the right. two and think, okay, I'm finna go over there. Oh, my God, I get a chance to meet. Like making love. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to go over there and, oh, my God, I get a chance to finally meet this celebrity or this man. And only thing I got to do is just sit and look into his and gaze into his eyes. You're not going to do that, okay? Uh-uh. No. That's not going to happen. Okay. So, I'm thinking, let's give these rules, okay? We got number one. So, Neek is going to give you rule number one. Then, Jen is going to go give you rule number two. Then, I give you number three. I don't know how many rules, but it seems like a lot of females don't know how this go. And then, and then we got to come back, look at it on news, make these men look like they are the worst scumbags. And, but then, at the same time, it made the women look stupid. Because that's what you guys are looking stupid. And guys, listen, I'm, I'm saying it because I'm a female. Because it seems like we're trying to keep this a secret and not tell you guys that you don't know. I don't think they know this. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, welcome yeah. to the C&J show. We're here to tell you. Yeah. Neek, rule number one with what? not... With this money thing. Go ahead. What's your rule number one? So, rule number one. Anytime somebody is paying you for sex, especially a celebrity, if they're willing to pay five, six thousand dollars $6,000, not only are they paying you, but they're allowing you into their personal space um, where they're not used to that anyways. So, if they're going to pay you to be in their personal space and they're going to pay you a good amount of money for an evening or whatever it is, you have to be prepared for what's to come. Yes. I'm not saying that, okay, hey, you know, you have to accept rape or you have to accept, you know, all of these things, but these are possibilities. I've heard these stories of a number of times. You can't think because you know somebody's music that you know their character. So you have to understand going into something where you're going to accept that type of money, you have to know that they want more. They don't yep. want, you know, let's just be honest. They don't want missionary sex from you. Yeah. They don't want regular sex from you. 
they want something maybe a little bit more rougher. Maybe they want, you know, whatever it is, maybe yeah. something out of your comfort zone. They're if you're not you. used to that, if they're paying you almost $10,000, if not $10,000 yeah. for an evening. So my thing is be prepared for whatever is to come. If they want you to, they might want you to do drugs with them because, you know, a lot of people, if they're high, if they drunk, they don't want somebody that's sober around them. They want you to kind of feel like you are in their world as well. Yep. So that's one of the things. Be prepared for whatever it is that, that's going to come with that. Yeah. Jen? Okay. Mine would be, I think the first thing that came to my mind was the fact that a lot of times these girls don't get paid. Yeah. I think a lot of times these girls get flown out to these places and they fly themselves out. And what I've been seeing is these guys are telling them, okay, yeah, I'll give you the money for the ticket when you come and that doesn't happen. Or, you know, they get there and they don't get paid for, you know, the, the job because it is sex work, whatever. Yeah. You know, um, so I would say make sure that you have some type of money. Yep. Because you don't know, you know, you don't what know. may happen and, you know, things like that. You don't want to be that person to, you know, put yourself out there. You are doing a job and, you know, rightfully you should get paid if that's what the agreement was. Yeah. Um. So I would definitely say make sure you are covered in all areas. And, yeah. Yeah. And me. Okay. Um. Rule number three. Okay. Don't be dumb. Can, can I say that? Let's have, let's save room to be dumb f for another time, okay? Let's stop pretending like we don't know what to expect. This has happened to everybody, okay? Every this has happened to everybody. Whether you have as a as a female, whether it's been with money or a guy just telling you they're gonna come take you somewhere or they're gonna whatever, and you know if you messing around with a married man or somebody that got somebody and you think you're gonna be with him because he's telling you a bunch of Hebrew lies, you know you're not. It's it's not gonna happen, girl. Okay. I just want us to wake up somehow, some way. Stop come doing this you're not embarrassed to get the money but as soon as they don't come give it to you you're sitting up there on tv okay mm -hmm. oh no he didn't do it him and the wife they both hit me and they drugged me <laughs> and child i didn't know what was happening no less before we put that out okay it's 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 called shame and sometimes when you get so shame you don't know what you'll do they didn't give you the money <laughs> but you should not be doing that in that way, any type of way, because you don't know what's going to happen. And we do know, too, people, if you're going to do it, don't drink. Don't, don't. You don't do nothing already to loosen yourself up because then if you're drinking first or taking something, they're going to already have something prepared for you, too, when you get there. Right. So now you didn't already then took your stuff just to be able to perform whatever disgusting right. acts that they want. Now, once you get there, they got their little set of lines all on the table <laughs> to, to do with the booger sugar. Now, guess what? Now you're thinking, oh, my God, I ain't never feel this way. They took advantage. They raped. They took no what it was they before were, you came there. Rough. Yeah, that's what it yeah. was like. They say, oh, they was rough. It was so rough, and it was so no. aggressive. And it's like, what did you think was going to happen? And, and then I'm they like just say, oh, I felt I couldn't even really move. I felt like I, I couldn't move. Yeah, and that's, yeah, I just yeah. think people don't know what to expect. They think it's just sunshine and daisies. Yeah. And they're going to go in. And you, I don't know what it is, but it's just like you are literally walking into hell. Like, yeah. You don't know what version of hell you're going to get, but it's going to be some form of hell. Look at how R. <laughs> Kelly did. Yeah, look at how R. Kelly did that girl. Yeah. But guess what, guys? Okay. We'll speak on him yeah, we in the round. Speak on yeah, we're gonna if we have to. We gotta speak on these scumbags. We're going to, you know, that's it for us. You know, we're going to. Well, well, oh, 
Hey, are we having a disagreement here, Nick? You no, want no, you got something not, to say? No, no, it's fine. No, I'm just listening to what you got to say. Could you We're say what? Something another time. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, this is you know, cause I ain't know what my sister wanted to do. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> so we'll be back. You know, this is CNJ show. We we're just giving you the rules and the guys because I started to notice this. I was feeling I was feeling bad for us women that seem like dang we don't know what to do. Just head into these doors and. <laughs> More than being fatalities and brutalities. Come on. But we are out. Okay.